Aren't you tired of the low interest rates in your crappy savings account? Aren't you looking for a way to invest and generate an actual decent return on your money? Well, in this video, you're going to learn the pros and cons of investing in stocks versus fine art, plus which one will get you rich faster. The global art market was worth $65 billion in 2022, 105 trillion for the stock market. That's a huge difference. However, many investors still choose to invest in fine art. Question is why? Maybe it has something to do with a better average annual return. Let's find out. Quickly reviewing the differences between stocks and fine art. Stocks are a type of security that represents ownership of a company. When you buy a stock, you're essentially buying a piece of said company. The value of your stock, it can increase or it can decrease depending on the performance and the financials of that company. Fine art, on the other hand, is a physical asset that you can own, display and sell at your leisure the value of art is subjective and can fluctuate greatly depending on various factors, including the artist's reputation, rarity of the piece, and demand in the current market. So why do people consider investing in both options? Isn't there a general winner and loser when it comes to annual average return? Investing in stocks can provide you with diversification, liquidity, and potentially stable returns over a longer period of time. Buying art, on the other hand, is a great option for those who want to invest in a tangible asset that they can both enjoy and display for others. But the question remains, which one will get you rich faster? According to the Art Market Research Art 100 Index, which tracks the performance of the art market, fine art has experienced an average annual return of approximately 5.5% from the year 2000 to 2020. The average stock market return for the same period We'll look at the S&P 500 index, which tracks the performance of the top 500 large cap companies in the United States from 2000 to 2020, same time period, the total return of the S&P 500, including reinvested dividends, was a whopping 198%, which translates to an average annual return of 6.3%. Sorry to burst your bubbles, 200% return would be pretty sweet though. So not significantly higher than fine art over the past 20 years, but maybe we're not looking at enough data. What if we zoom out a bit further? Will fine art make a surprise comeback? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Using the last 50 years now, fine art has returned a respectable 5.8%, staying nice and consistent with the average for the past 20 years as well, I might add. So for every $10,000 you had invested, you're making $580 per year. The stock market return over the past 50 years would have put 920 bucks in your pocket for every 10 grand invested or a 9.2% average return. That is right. Stocks have on average returned nearly double the amount of fine art over the past 50 years. This means if you bought a painting worth 20 grand and hung it on your wall 50 years ago, it'd be worth approximately $335,000 today. But if you had dumped that same 20 large in the stock market and never sold, you'd be sitting on a pile of cash worth $1.6 million. And that, my friends, is what you would call a one-sided affair. Maybe that's why only 5% of the world's population invests in fine art. And there's 55% of people comfortable enough out there to invest in stocks. If you're a normal person, looking to get started investing in the stock market and join the other 55%, make sure you watch this.